Hi guys, it's Millie Bloom and I'm back and I have put on the vacuum cleaner Dr. Brandt pore purifying mask, which is right here. Anyways, um, it kind of has a weird smell to it, which I've heard a lot of people comment about. And it's like leaving my face all blue. And it burns a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. And it's drying down so weird. Like. Um, I just don't know. I thought it smelled like mint to begin with. But this is not. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe almost sulfur. Is uh, what I'm thinking of. Anyway, I'm going to leave it on for the recommended 5 to 10 minutes. I'll wash it off. It looks like it's turning my face red AF. Anyway, thought I'd check in. <laughs> it's Saturday night. It's my weekly mask night. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay. Bye. Hi, guys. I'm back, and I think it's dried completely it feels really tight on the face and it's very very dry so it says that it cleans like loosens up and breaks the dirt and pores and where my pores collect dirt the worst of course just like everybody is like right here my nose and I'm gonna go wash this off and then I'll check back in and let you know if my face is red which is one common problem I've heard about this treatment is that it turns your face a red color with rash so I will wash it off and check back alright guys so I have washed it off my face <laughs> and it's left some places just a little red but that could be from me scrubbing it off <laughs> um, there was these little like BB not BBs little pellets in it and at first I didn't want to use the product at all because I thought it was like the plastic pellets that aren't good for the environment the ocean but after I got to rubbing them in I did see that they broke down and kind of like mixed in with the liquid so that was okay with me um the smell <laughs> It never dissipated. It never, it never went away. So the whole time you smelled like you had like this sulfur mask on. And I believe it was one of the acids that smelt like sulfur. So whatever. Um, it's not the most moisturizing mask ever. That's for sure. And I don't know if I'll use it again because I don't really have acne prone skin. Uh, if I do use it again, it's going to be like right here on my nose because that's where I get blackheads the worst. So I won't be applying it on my whole face because for the most part, most of my pores are pretty clean on the rest of my face. Just like right here and around my lips just a little bit. So eh, maybe just a chin. But I won't be applying it to my whole face again. I know that for sure. And it is a stinky, stinky thing. <laughs> so, anyways, um, thanks for watching. And remember to always slay the day. And make sure and subscribe and click the bell icon and all that stuff. And I'll see you again. Bye!